So recently on TikTok, like everyone's talking about Jennifer Lopez and how they hate her. Like everyone's talking about how much they hate her. Like Jen and from the blog, Jennifer Lopez, you remember. Like, yeah, that Jennifer Lopez that we all grew up with and everyone wanted to be her, everyone wanted to dress like her, have her perfume, her dance moves. Yeah, no one, it seems like there's like a bandwagon of people that's jumping on it and they like to hate Jennifer Lopez. They say that Jennifer Lopez is rude to her fans, which it kind of seems like that is a common theme with her. Like she isn't really nice to her fans and she talks down to people. So I got a couple videos lined up and then um, I'll go in with my commentary at the very end and celebrity was rude to you jennifer lopez jennifer fucking lopez i was working as a maid for this really rich family and she came and stayed with them once she wanted a pedicure so they had someone come to the house to give her a pedicure she's lying on the bed on her stomach refuses to get up refuses to even roll over so this woman had to give her a pedicure like upside down with her feet hanging off the bed Get up, bitch, get up and get the fuck out of here. So I haven't seen any of the movies or the reasons why the internet is making fun of Jennifer Lopez right now, but it's probably a really good time to tell you about the time I waited on her for all of three seconds. I worked at this gourmet breakfast and lunch place in Southbury, Connecticut. This is not it. This is a picture of my breakfast, but anyway. Southbury, Connecticut's like 45 minutes away from New York City, and so it wasn't out of the ordinary for us to be seeing like rich people, celebrities, and the like. So one time, Miss Lopez comes into the restaurant. At this point, she was probably the most famous person that I was ever gonna wait on besides Dustin Hoffman. When I waited on Dustin Hoffman, and this is important, I waited on Dustin Hoffman, I greeted him even though my manager was like, don't make a big deal out of it. You know, it's, he's a huge freaking movie star, but don't make a big deal out of it. I walked up to Dustin's table and I was like, Dustin! And he loved it. He ate it up. He thought I was a sweetheart. So Miss I'm Just Jenny from the Block had sat in my section in a booth similar to this, right? Like she's got maybe four or five people with her. There's enough room for them. Immediately when I walk up to the table, she looks up at me and says the words, somebody else. Me wanting to like cover up for that. I'm like, I'm sorry, is this booth not appropriate? And she said, no, we want a new waiter. First of all, I'm a waitress at this point. Like this is, we call, at, this was back in the day when we didn't use the word server. We called waiters, waiters, and waitresses, waitresses. To my face, she was like, mm, you're not gonna do. Over the years, like a lot has been exposed about Jennifer Lopez, like I mentioned before, like her mistreating her fans, talking down the staff that's around her. They're not allowed to make any eye contact with her at all. If they do, they're fired. If they talk to her inadvertently, they're fired. They're terminated. Um, I've also heard like just plethora of horror stories about her and do you guys remember that time when she went back to her childhood home and she kind of got in her feelings because the old man that currently resided at that location did not know who she was hi i used to live here huh? i used to live here Where's your name? huh Where's your name? my name is jennifer Jennifer? Yeah, I used to live up, and then my room was upstairs right there. Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez. Who's Jennifer Lopez? Me. I used to live here. For a long time. <laughs> Talking about Jennifer Lopez and this clip, I thought I would also share my childhood trauma involving meeting this woman for the first time on the block. I'm going to give you some brief background information about where the block is and my story, just so you know what's going on. So fun fact about me, I used to go to the school that JLo's mother taught at and that JLo herself attended it was Holy Family School in the Bronx. And notice how I said was, I'll get back to that later. I was not present when JLo's mom was there. She like just retired. And I believe the reason why she retired was because she won $2.4 million in a lottery. And she was like, bye, which is completely understandable. 
I also went to the same pizza place she would go to, Cross Bronx Pizza, because it was like just down the block. And I also went to the same after school program that she went to, the Kips Bay uh, Boys and Girls Club. Went for like a couple months and I didn't like it, but that's another whatever. And as you can see here, the pizza place, the school, and the Boys and Girls Club are all on Castle Hill Avenue in the Bronx. And this is what I think she refers to as the block. Now on to the main event. It is 2002, if I remember correctly, around the winter time, leaving school, it's dismissal time, I'm walking down the stairs, and I notice a huge crowd, and I'm like, what's going on? I did not know who Jennifer Lopez was. I was kind of a nerdy child, and the music phase didn't really hit me until about the eighth grade. But from that day on, let's just say I knew who J-Lo was. So I make my way finally to the first floor, and as I turn the corner, I just see kids getting pushed, like, hunted into the building. Get back in the building by these two big men who are obviously bodyguards. I didn't know that. Next thing you know, I'm getting pushed also into the floor and I like fell next to the staircase and I'm just like, what is, what is happening? And that's when I catch a glimpse of this woman, like not acknowledging anything that's happening. She's walking between her bodyguards and then she's out the door. Flash forward a couple of minutes after my concussion subsided and I picked up all of my belongings, I made my way out of the front door of the school over here and I wanted to go to my favorite pizza place down the street because I had 50 cents and I knew a pizza roll would help me forget about this whole thing. But then I noticed the large crowd outside and I was like, it's never that busy there. And then I realized that woman was probably inside of the establishment. So I was like, forget this. I'm going to get on the city bus and go to my aunt's house. And that's when my aunt and my cousins told me that that woman was Jennifer Lopez. So I actually found this article from 2002 and even back then people were saying that she's a phony and a fake and doesn't do anything for the block. Kind of freaking out because this article is about that day. Look, she visited Holy Family School for the cameras and then she went to Lacrosse Bronx Pizza Shop. Here it is, here it is. Bodyguard shoved excited kids out of the way, residents said, leaving one tiny fan in tears. See, I wasn't lying about that. And the reason why I said was Holy Family School is because the school is gone now. As of last year, it had to close its doors. And look, am I saying that JLo should be required to donate money to all the places that she grew up with? No. But when you make it your whole personality that you grew up from the Bronx and you went to the school and how you loved going to this pizza place or that dance studio and you don't give no money to any of these places, but it's your whole personality, it's kind of weird. So yeah, that last man did not know who she was and you can kind of tell she was a little arrogant about it. Like, so like how to, kind of like snooty, like how do you not know who I am? I'm Jennifer Lopez. I'm like, that dude's like 80 years old. He don't know who you are. You don't do anything for the community according to them in the Bronx. But anyway, yeah, it's been a trending thing because she recently made a film and like she used all of her own money to make the film. And like most of the people that she wanted to be in it did not want to partake or have any participation in it whatsoever. And it kind of shows that how she kind of put a bad taste in a lot of celebrities' mouth, like they, mouths, like they don't want to do like uh, favors for her or anything. So people have been clowning her for that, and they also been clowning her because a lot of people that you know TikTok is a place where people gather together and just like talk and connect and network, and uh, it seemed like a common thread that she's just not a nice person. She's just the mean girl. She's a mean girl and she made it and she's just not nice to people. And it's well known that she does not like her staff to look at her. Like something simple as looking at her can make her mad or get her fired. Or people, she thinks everything has to be perfect because she's Jennifer Lopez. She's just not a sincere what nice person she kind of seems like she wants everything to be glitz and glamour for her which you know who wouldn't but like to her extent i think it's kind of like overkill seriously lady seriously but yeah that a lot of people are not feeling jennifer lopez anymore they're saying that she peaked that she's not that girl from the oos anyone anymore no one cares about her i mean a lot has came out about her like jennifer lopez doesn't sing her own music jennifer lopez steals people music she's cutthroat she steps on the uh, backs of other uh, artists and new or old or up and coming what have what have you um she's just not someone that a lot of people like and i think that she kind of lives in her uh, this is my opinion i don't know this woman from a can of paint but she probably just lives in her own fantasy world where she's so great and everyone worships everything she does it's like now it's kind of catching up to her like hey you're not that girl from the oos anymore you're not the shit you're not that girl you're 50 years old which is nothing wrong with being older but you know things change as you get older um yeah so with that being said 
everyone seems like to but they love to hate Jennifer Lopez right now and they love to see her failures and they love to see Jennifer Lopez's failures and it, it just it's a win for everybody all of a sudden because I remember like if you spoke bad about Jennifer Lopez people be ready to, to cut your freaking head off but nowadays everyone's just loving to hear all the hate stories i don't know this is a gossip channel so i'll talk about gossip but let me know what y'all think in the comment section below because i see the 180 and i think people just like to jump on bandwagons because it's just popular to do but yeah but with that being said they are jumping on the bandwagon but i can see how she's just not an, a nice person and an opportunist because they say that she's an opportunist and she'll sleep with people to get to the top and i'm pretty sure she did oh well let me know what you guys think Bye bye